Hello everybody, my name is Evolve Pickville and as you perhaps can already tell, this is quite a different kind of video. Well, that's because, as I promised, admittedly a couple of months ago now, Mega Builds are going to be changing. And this is the first of the new format. Now, for a start, we only have technically a single video. Basically, if you still want to watch the build, that will be available. But I will be putting that as an unlisted video. If you want to check it out, that is in the description. It is literally the first line of the description. So if you do really want to watch that, you can. This is really just going to be, well, what the series was originally meant to be. Or rather, what this video was originally meant to be. Which is a showcase. Showing off the new thing that I've built. So, if you do particularly want to watch the build and don't want to know what I built, then perhaps watch that before watching this. But otherwise, let us, well, let us first get rid of the terrible weather and let us actually do what this video has really claimed to be for a few years now and yet has never actually been that. Probably more than a few years, probably more like four years because this theory has come and gone over time. Let's have a showcase. Now obviously you can see that is what I built last time and also as you can see by the title and the description we are working on a mine and you can see actually here the first big thing is that this used to just go in and out. Well now it goes right. Now there is another pathway which takes us all the way down here up here. Originally I was going to try and just keep the pathway flat and not really have elevation but yeah I decided with the tower to not do that because I wanted to look a bit more natural. We head all the way up here and we have the mines. Now a lot of what I need to show you is down there but we're going to start here with the miners quarters. Come in here and this first room is a storage room for everything that's been mined. This is, well this is just a hallway and some stairs, but as you can see we've made some effort to make it look nice. Out here we have a little sitting area, a little library, a sort of a, a rest room. Here we have a kitchen, pretty basic but it does the job. And we have a bedroom. After all, all the people working in the mines are going to need somewhere to live, eat, drink, all that. And we have provided. Now, if we can uh, successfully navigate the door <laughs> and we can work our way down here. You can see what we have here is we have a track that leads into a bubble elevator going down and coming up. Does it work? Sort of. If, 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 you're, if you're sort of riding it, you can get it to work. <laughs> um, you, you do have to be riding it, unfortunately. I wanted an elevator for the minecart, but it doesn't look like anyone actually figured out how to do a proper elevator. They've, they've managed to come up with some stuff that will kind of work, but not really to the level I wanted. So this, my attitude with this is that it works sort of well enough. And uh, side note, I should probably use the elevator that's meant for people rather than minecarts. We head down here, and uh, yeah, we have quite a mine. Uh, I'll show you this later. But for now, we kind of have the main mine here. Now, what this has been, or what this originally was, was a natural mine. You can see a few remnants of the old natural mine here. What my decision was, was I was going to take the natural mine and well turn it into a proper functioning mine you can see here we have switches for switching the directions and yeah i mean some of the directions here seem a little random i know but that was the original directions that was the original mine which of course we have done our best to try and maintain and got some areas i mean we've got this sort of big tunnel here as you can see like it started off natural here but everything beyond here is artificial and you see we've got sort of 
little mining veins with everyone. That's just um, <laughs> that's just a, a big load of water. But the whole cave beyond that, here we got diamonds and so on. A little turnaround, a little three point turn area, you know. And then we sort of come in and we go up. And in and again, you can see sort of the the parts of the of the natural mine. Uh, you see, this is why the elevation is like just up by one, it's because the, uh, the the natural mine didn't spawn so well. <laughs> but uh, I I genuinely appreciate this. I think it looks quite good, and I I like how we've managed to incorporate sort of you know we we built our own stuff to make the mine look cool, but also at the same time we've kept. As really quite a bit of the original mine and we've, we've linked it all up because they definitely weren't linked before and yeah all in all I think it looks pretty damn cool and then if we come down here we've just got a little room not really of much value but a little smelting room here and then we have this way so I discovered two caves that I wanted to do a mine in the problem was is that those two caves were, you know, a few hundred blocks away from each other. How does one resolve that? Well, it's very simple really. Is uh, you build a tunnel. A, a very, very long tunnel. And you can see we've, we've, we've sort of mined through a few little caves that we didn't want to do. So, as I did before with the... Uh, sea route. I added some windows so you can see what's happening. <laughs> I think it looks cool. I like I like that look. I like having the little um, windows. I, I think that's cool. It's one of those things that nobody's probably going to notice, but I appreciate it. And then, uh, yeah, you can see what I wanted to build here, can't you? And you can see the tracks do well and truly continue. So if we follow them, we go all the way down here, and we have sort of several exit points around the mine where you will naturally come to a stop and obviously you can resume from there and this brings us down here so you can explore and get some of the resources and then we head up here quite a way up and you can see here there's sort of a one of the naturally spawning never portals or most of a never portal and it takes us through and down to this massive massive pool of water which again is a natural stop well not a natural stop but it's a stop and here it goes all the way down to this gorgeous gorgeous lava pool as you can see we've added striders because i thought hey if anyone's in this world and they want to ride around the lava pool well they have the option they have the option and here we come further down here shoot through here and another uh, not quite a nice lava pool but still pretty impressive we have another stop and then i believe from here it just is us going back oh no i lied we did have one more exit nothing really special here this was more i want an exit <laughs> but you know it, it there's it, this this cave complex is absolutely friggin massive so there's plenty to explore you know, I had to add cave stuff into the last mine. I did not have to add it here. And then it goes all the way around. And here we are. And there we go. We are finished with everything. And you can see everything we've done on the mine. And that, well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the showcase. <laughs> so I'm, I'm quite proud of this. I think this is a really cool looking mine. I mean, especially like the view from like here and stuff like that is just amazing i think honestly I, I couldn't be happier but this is it this is the mine this is everything i've built and as i've said before if you do want to actually check out the build the how i built this which being honest isn't super difficult to figure out but if you do want to watch that the link for that will be down below and let me know shut up thunder let me know what you think of this new style showcase how you find it if you appreciate it if you think the old style is better, whatever your criticism, let me know down below. My name is The Royal Pixel. Thank you so much for watching. Don't know what happened to the music there, but I will see you <laughs> very, very soon.